Hi, welcome to Dance and Art Studio. Welcome to our YouTube and our question and answer series and where I uh, take some time and I answer, just briefly answer some questions that I get uh, from uh, different artists around the world. And one of the questions that I get a lot, which I got one in an email here last week, was about the consistency of my paints. What is it about my paints that I like to use when I do the paint? It's simply, and <clears throat> that varies depending upon whether I'm going to do a lot of uh, real loose uh, stroke work or I'm going to be doing a lot of flowers. And I have my paints here for, uh, let me just show you here with uh, with my paints. This is my, my global colors. Now, sometimes I use a global palette. Sometimes I use... Uh, this the colors just straight out into these little containers here. This is another type of palette that we have, and it has a little lift. It has a little snap-on lid, and but these allow um, to, for me to have a lot of color into it. Now I've, <clears throat> I've done a little bit of painting with this um, on this palette here for the last couple of months. Really, these paints have been in here, and I fill them up regularly. But last night I left it out overnight without it covered and so the paints this is what happens to the paints is <clears throat> when you look at it from the last time I painted on it it's got just a little bit of a hard a uh, little bit of a hard shell to it if that's not this very much uh, what I'll do is I'll just mix it up now I, this is Hansa yellow it's very sensitive to other colors and stuff so what I'll do is I'll just lift off a little bit of that because I dip my brush into it all the time I'll lift off a little bit of this extra color that's right in here just to clean that all off. But you'll also see that there's a, a little bit of a hardness that's right up here by the top of this right here. Um, that will mix in if I wanted to mix it all in right now. So if I want to do this, I want to you know, mix it all in. I also have to look at the consistency. Now I'm going to do a floral in one of my next paintings here for you. And uh, so I want this to be thick. So I don't want to thin this color out. I want to leave this nice thick color. See how thick that color is? This is the consistency I like to paint with when I do a lot of my florals. I like it to be almost like a toothpaste consistency. It sticks. And that allows me to use more color and thicker color. Okay. So this technique does not work with flow acrylics, fluid acrylics, bottled acrylics. You can't do this kind of stuff. And so since the color is, since like this Hansa is so powerful, I can just mix some of this color up into here and you'll see that red and all that other stuff disappear there. It won't affect that color whatsoever, especially Hansa that's so sensitive to the color so I'm just going to mix this up here really well and even that hardness that was up at the top here just kind of gets all you know all creamied up I whip it up like this and I look at the consistency of this color you know is, is this the consistency I want to paint with and this is what I want to paint with today nice thick color like this so it's all backed creamy again and when I'm done today when I'm done painting for today uh, with this flower, I will probably just put in a little bit of extender and mix that all back up again before <clears throat> I put it in my palette. So just keeping it all mixed up like that and whipping that up. And so generally, before I start my paint day, I look at my palette and I determine uh, what I want to... Um, what I want the consistency to be. So the whites here, when you look at your whites, the whites are always the colors I like the thickest. And I like this just, I mean, really, really thick color here. And so I'm, you know, if you, if you stir it up like this and whip it up, it becomes very creamy again. You can see how creamy that becomes. But I like these whites very, very thick. And you, so you can even see the texture that can happen there with that just standing up like that. Really, really thick color. I like all my colors really thick like that um, when I go to paint uh, some of the a la prima florals that you see me do because I love that nice thickness, that body of color. And I talked to you in several videos about having colors flow together. And, it, you know, you would think, okay, that's, those colors have to be really liquid, and that's not true. Uh, those colors have to be thick enough that they flow together, but they still maintain their identity. Think of it like marbleizing or, you know, those old uh, lava lamps that we had that we watched the things just flow around. That's where I like to use that. So I'll go through all of my colors that even might have a little bit of a hardness to it. And I'm not going to adjust the consistency today because I'm going to do a floral. And that had a little bit of yellow in it from when I painted some leaves. And I'm just going to whip up and stir up my colors here like this. Okay. And 
put those out. Now, if I, if I'm, when I'm, like I say, when I'm done for the day, I'm going to put in a little bit of extender and whip that up again and let those get just a little bit creamy of that. But I like to leave my colors a little bit more on the thick side it could, because when I take it to my palette here, you know, for example, I'll take this, uh, let's take uh, like the yellow that I was just using. If I take this yellow, you know, to my palette here, it's nice and thick. And you can see just how thick that yellow is. It stands up. And when I go to add white to that, let's say I'm going to add white to that, I can model these two colors together and still get a beautiful modeling of heavy color that I can use when I strike petals and put light colors on. Okay, um, let's do a dark color here so you can see a dark color as well. Let's grab some of our red violet here. So if I put this red violet in here and I reach over and I grab some of my thick white, as I model these together, you can see they don't flow together. Okay, they don't flow together here. The colors stay very, very thick. And that's what I, that's the consistency that I like to paint with. Okay, if you're using fluid acrylics, and I add any kind of moisture to this whatsoever, your colors immediately be blend into one color. And so then you don't get the interest to your strokes and to your colors that you do when you use thicker paint. And so it is easier for me, and this is why I keep, I generally keep my paintings, my colors very, very thick, okay? This is, it's easier for me to keep them thick like this onto the palette and work my colors and model my colors and say I want to model in some yellows and look at all the beautiful modeling I get here. But if I add just the tiniest, tiniest bit of moisture to this, just a little bit of moisture, extender or water into this, see how that instantaneously becomes one color and the colors no longer model. So the color is a little bit more fluid here and it's a little bit thinner. And that's the problem that you have with bottled acrylics and, and uh, painters that are coming from bottled acrylics and really, really thin colors um, that they put out. If you put out your colors and they just kind of go out and they're a little bit watery, you can't do these types of techniques. Well, everything that I do is designed for the heritage, and then I control the consistency of the heritage for the different type of techniques. I may do this on some paintings, but a lot of the paintings and paintings simply, I use my colors really, really thick, just like this. Very, very thick color here. And I like to be able to just pick that color up and have that nice consistency like that. This is heritage paint that's been out for a while. And I watch it. And if you're going to keep your colors like this, you can leave it out during the day. And then when you're done at night, you know, put, in a, put on a little bit of extender. And... Don't forget to uh, mix it up every once in a while, or it is acrylic, and it will dry, because it will dry, and so you have to take care of your colors. Maintain your colors, and then your painting is a lot easier, and I maintain six colors here for a lot of the techniques, and it's pretty easy to maintain, okay? So you can get some nice variation. Use your colors thicker, and use nice, rich bodied color paint and it's a lot easier to paint with, okay? So there's your uh, answer to looking at my palette up close as to what the consistency of my colors are. If you have any kind of questions or anything like that, write to us at the uh, Art Videos Direct. Just go to the artvideosdirect.com website. There's a little form that you can use right there, and you can just drop in um, your... Uh, your question right there and put in your name and address and if you don't want me to use your name and address like this lady didn't just say so and I will I did you know I won't mention your name but if you want to mention it then I will do that okay so answer ask those questions and I'll be here to answer them for you okay thanks a lot see you on some of the other educational videos have a great painting day